previously on the Inges channel. All right, well, here it is. It's literally almost a brand new looking car in here. This is the Nissan Leaf Charger right here. Full throttle, chirping the tires, 30. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you. Today, we are turning my Nissan Leaf into something that belongs in the 21st century. <laughs> so right off the bat, we're gonna convert this thing all to LED, the headlights and stuff. Um, the, the low beam is LED, but that's the only one, that's the only LED bulb in the front there. Fog lights are also halogen, so we'll be also updating those to LED. So this little panel here, I'm going to turn gloss black. I have some stuff called like vinyl wrap. It's like a spray can vinyl wrap. It actually is kind of cool stuff, so I'm gonna try it on that. I do have some actual vinyl to put on the top here and that's what all the modern cars are doing these days is black roof and then another color underneath it and I think that's all it would need to convert it into a 21st century car like it doesn't look all that great just as it is but I think we can make it into something a little bit more special that'll fit in with the modern roads and not look like a 2011 leaf So we're using this right here, it's called Vinyl Wrap. <laughs> and this is, uh, I had never seen this before, it just recently popped up on the shelves and I just, I mean, maybe they just didn't stock it for a while and it's been a thing for a while, but this stuff is, it has a mixed audience. It, it's really thin and so you have to do a whole bunch of coats. And if you don't do a whole bunch of coats, it's just too thin and it kind of peels off and uh, whatever. But it's really neat stuff. It, it, it literally feels like vinyl wrap. When you do it right, and you, I'm gonna probably do like seven coats of it, like medium to heavy coats of it, but if you do it right, it feels almost literally like vinyl just wrap. When you peel it off, it's like a plastic. It's crazy. So hopefully, I'm gonna see if this works out. This is what I'm using, and I know a lot of people hate it because it's so thin and it, it sprays on almost like water. It's, it's really thin stuff. So I'm gonna do a whole bunch of coats. I'm also going to clear coat it and we'll see how long it lasts on this thing. All right, well here's the finished product right here. Uh, it does not look too bad. Now this vinyl wrap stuff, you actually have to treat kind of like vinyl wrap. When it dries, it peels off. And so you actually do have to cut it with a razor blade. The line and everything looks okay. I did a nice job with the razor blade over there, but I actually tried to take it off just with the tape last night when it was still like mildly wet and actually pulled a couple little pieces off there. Not a huge deal because I mean, when you're more than just one foot away from it, you can barely see it. But the reason I use this stuff and not like Plasti Dip or something is because this is a high gloss. This looks just like gloss paint and it looks really good. I'll get it out into the light in just a bit, but it definitely doesn't look too bad. I also took the initiative last night to actually try Plasti Dipping a mirror just to see if I liked it at all. Now I will say it was super cold outside last night and um, so I think it didn't it didn't finish perfectly smooth. You guys can see there's a little bit of bumpiness in it. It's not too bad but it didn't finish perfectly smooth like Plasti Dip normally does. I think it's just because it was probably 40 degrees or something in the garage. So I'm gonna restore these headlights. You guys can see the oxidation on there just from being a nine year old car at this point. Um, so I am going to move on to restoring these headlights. The headlight restoration went fine this side. Uh, it was so cold that the headlight didn't turn out super well, but it's not yellow, it's better than before, whatever. Also the Plasti Dip laid on a lot better when it was warmer, and I'm definitely satisfied with the result. You guys can see it peels right the frick off. Super strong, super good layer here. I've never really done emblems before, so let's see how this goes. I'm curious if it'll just come off right around it or or what 
mostly looks like. Hey, check that out, dude. That is super cool. Let's see if I can get a good clean line here. I might even just leave the emblem gray for now, but I have other places to be. It looks kind of funny having plastic dip on here. And this was just a test anyway to see if I could get it looking good. And uh, looks like I can. And, and to make sure it was removable, of course. Um, Cause you know, years down the road, you wouldn't want to be freaking like peeling off like piece by piece, little tiny bits at a time of an entire car. But I'm definitely satisfied with that. Well, we're back, Gingy Moto's here. We're gonna be actually wrapping the roof. I think I already mentioned it, but full disclosure, it's like three months after our, the last clip you guys saw, but we have the wrap, it came in over here. And so this is a, I think it's called Vivid Wrap, and this was like $65 or something, but it's gonna cover the roof just fine. So we're gonna give it a shot. So that's what we're doing. I think, uh, I think we just get to it. Yeah. What do you say? Let's do it. Let's get to it. Mr. The Indra, what the heck are you doing? Oh, I, you know, I'm just restoring this uh, solar panel here. Uh, it was nice and yellow. I think you guys saw it. I mentioned that in the first video, how yellow this thing was. So we're just trying to clean it up, kind of just like a headlight. You know, just the plastic surface, so getting it cleaned up. More efficiency, more solar power, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you alright? <laughs> yeah, we are. I'm good. That's hot. Man, and to think this is the easy part. I know, right? Oh boy. Woo wee. That looks super good. That Look how glossy that is. You guys can see me in it. Wow. That's amazing. That actually looks really good. What do you think? What do you I think, think it looks good. You can really see actually the, the garage door and the reflection there. It's actually solid. Yeah, there's some orange peel. It looks just like a you know budget paint job, basically. Yeah, honestly, I don't think good. there's any more orange peel than there is in the, in the paint. No, there's, there's probably not. You're right. There's actually probably the exact same amount. That's crazy, dude. That looks really good. Not bad for our first time, huh? Yeah, not too That's shabby. Bad. First time for everything. You can't really get it perfect on your first time. It was really hard to tell if it was an actual, like, how glossy the black was before we actually peeled it off. Cause we were working with this stuff. The only time we've ever seen this um, vinyl wrap was with the like plastic layer on it. And so we never really, we never really saw it as actual gloss black. And so when we installed it and we just removed this thing, this looks so much better oh, than yeah. what we thought it might've turned out to be, you know? Cause it just, it took a whole layer of just haze off of it. And here it is, it looks great. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I thought this stuff was gonna kind of be junk when I first saw it, but. Yeah. Uh, it's not bad. Yeah. No, Vivid is a, I mean, they're a bit, they're a budget. <laughs> I almost said a bad word there. They're a budget. <laughs> Let me start that over. Vivid is a very budget, like vinyl company, but they're actually, it's actually not bad. I used it on the Mercedes too, and that was, it's durable. I mean, we just ran tests. We just stuck a piece of vinyl on the, on the side here, and we hit it with the heat gun, and there's like, it was not burning it. It was just, you know, it was actually very durable stuff. Yeah, after like 10 seconds on the high setting, it finally melted yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, and that's literally like four to 500 degrees right there. Yeah. And it didn't even like break open or anything. It just kind of like sizzled its way, you know, into like a boiling state. But yeah, not too bad, dude. I'm excited. So now we just have to do this back section here and that's it. And then this is all gonna be gloss black. I think that's gonna complete the look of this car. I think it's gonna look great after we get this. It's gonna completely transform just the just the look of the of the car, just the overall like aero look on it. This looks 
looks so good. This looks so good. This is probably professional quality. Just gonna say it. Let's go. We decided to cut the bottom, but here we go. Lots of those. This side looks really clean. This was my side. I uh, I assisted when you had to go deal with the dog. <laughs> look at those little fingers out. We'll hit it with the heat and then just rub it down. I, I love it overall. The look of it. Looks yeah, good. yeah. It's it not. Solid. It's not bad. Cool, man. Let's put this thing back together and we'll call it done. All right, guys, we wrapped it up. <laughs> we wrapped it up, we did. And uh, so anyway, the roof and the rear part where the solar panel is, is all wrapped 100% gloss black. And it looks, in my opinion, a lot better. It, it really does transform the look of the car having gloss black roof. Because all the modern, you know, luxury cars and everything, Teslas, they are all getting the gloss black roof. And the back, you guys can see the solar panel looks a whole lot better. There were two fingers right here that creased that are kind of noticeable on the wrap, but besides that, it's just glass. It looks so good. <laughs> uh, the solar panel is a lot less yellow and it looks a lot better. Um, and just with the black and everything, it looks a lot better. And from the back, check this out. I didn't even notice, but like this shot right here, it's got like a rear diffuser with like those sport wings on the back and crap. Like down there, you see that? I feel like we should gloss black this at some point, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, but anyway, it does look a lot better now. So the upgrades we did to this to transform it, you know, to blend in with the modern day, you know, this is a poor man's Tesla, so we're kind of going with that. Gloss black roof, got the gloss black like all the Teslas have up front here, where the license plate is. Um, I, was, I was testing out Plasti Dip, and I just did the badge and it actually looked okay, so we stuck with it. Uh, we converted this thing all to LED, uh, I don't even remember what else we did to it. It was like three months ago since I did that video. So the leaf is actually treating me pretty well. I probably put like 3,000 miles on it at this point. And it's been going good. I mean, only like 40 miles per charge. <laughs> but again, poor man's Tesla. You know, beggars can't be choosers. And uh, so anyway, but it's been a good car so far. And this was a fun project, but tiring and tedious. And, uh, but it was a good first experience. Jinji Moto, did you have fun? Oh yeah, it was, uh, it was a lot of work. It was it was mostly fun. <laughs> it was mostly fun. There you it go. It was yeah. mostly fun for sure. There were some some frustrations with the corners and stuff. Yeah, but, but it's a learning experience. And that was I would say that was a pretty hard panel to start on. You know, for our first thing. The roof. No, just no. I the mean, the like, back one. <laughs> the roof was the easiest part. That went pretty easy. It was the back though when the like sharp lip and everything went, and whatever. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time. Oh, 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 oh,